Hi, Parat. Uh, three Hi. good, three good victories. Uh, yeah. Is there thought being given to rotation of the bowling attack, or is it about playing the best team for every game through the World Cup? Yeah, I think it's important to to maintain the start really. So as of now, there's no discussion of kind of rotation for us uh, from our point of view. I think it's important to get this carry this momentum for the next game as well. No thought as much. Uh, coach here. Uh, as a team management and a bowling unit, how uh, hard is it to you know keep a bowler like Shami uh, out of the eleven, given the way he's bowling in the nets, uh, troubling the own Indian yeah. batsman? See, honestly, it's never an easy decision. I, I think, uh, but but I think the conversations are around. We had a clear chat with him. Whenever we select a squad, uh, the messages from us is very clear that we pick a squad we feel is the best for that wicket. And I think sometimes. You will miss out. You know, someone like him is missing out. Someone like Ash will miss out. And I think that's that's the communication that we have. I think we're very clear. Difficult decision, honestly. You know, with the quality that he brings to the team, new ball, death. Uh, it's it's a difficult to take that decision. But but you have to take that decision. You only have eleven on the field. Uh, but yeah. Paras, uh, you. Uh, sorry. I, hi. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> so as as a. As a bowling coach, you've had to work with a depleted unit throughout your tenure, and now comes the big World Cup. Yeah. How good is it to have both Bumrah and Kuldeep and working with the full strength bowling unit? How good is that? Ah, ask me about it, man. Uh, it's been tough. I thought uh, you know last last few years, couple of years, been really tough. It's tough to miss someone like Bumrah. You know, you've seen him the last three games that he's played. What really he brings to the table? He's a world class bowler. You know, gives you that uh, breakthrough that you require in the power plays. Is well adapted to bowl in the middle overs, and is a top gun death bowler. So I think in that sense, you know, we really missed him. Glad that he's shaping well. Uh, you know, he really, and, and I think uh, we must credit the the staff back at the NCA, the medical department, the physios out there, and out here as well. I think really worked hard behind the scenes to for the last few years, to from from where he was and to get him out here. So so credit goes to them as well. But but as you said, I think uh, you know it's a big big bonus to have him, someone like him. Kuldeep uh, with Kuldeep, obviously the last few years, he's worked on certain things. We worked on with him on a certain things in terms of the, his bowling, his action, uh, and that can and you can translate that in the way he's bowled. His speeds are gone up, uh, his accuracy is up there. You know, hitting those lengths consistently, and I think he really complements in between as a wicket taking option as well. He is a wicket taking option for us. And he's done that. I think both. So in in combination, both. I think you're gun bowlers for us. Uh, hi, coach. Uh, hi. We have seen two big upsets in this World Cup. Does it uh, make you take Bangladesh seriously, even though they have not performed really well in their last two matches? I think honestly, I thought uh, when you when you play when you enter a World Cup, every team will pose you a challenge. So from our perspective, maybe any team. I don't I don't think we'll take anyone. We, that's a discussion that we had. That's that's some one of the points that we spoke about can happen. But but from our point of view. Every game, because we are the only side playing on nine different teams, nine different venues, nine different surfaces that offer different challenges for us. So, so we want to prepare for that. So, maybe the Bangladesh or maybe Netherlands. I think we want to treat that game equally important. Hi, first. Continuing Hi. with the last question, Bangladesh obviously won three of the four uh, matches between the yeah. games, the last four matches. So, uh, but the vibe uh, already here is that um, India's clear favourites, and obviously World Cup is a different stage. India is playing very well. But do you feel that if Bangladesh win tomorrow, it will be an upset, or do you think it's just like other games? See, honestly, it's a game, right? Uh, what what you really come out here is is execute your plans to the best of your ability. That's a game. It's going to be. It's a tough side. Uh, we've uh, just as I just mentioned, every game for us is important. Every opponent for us is important. We are not even looking at that side. I think we what we want to focus on on what we want to do, uh, what we want to achieve on in this game. We have our plans. If we execute our stuff. We will win, and that's the only thing that we're talking about. The discussion that we in the team is is that nothing else about the opponents really. Hi, coach. Yeah. Hi. How do you see Bangladesh pace bowling unit, and how do you compare with them with the World Cup bowlers? Uh, to be honest, uh, Tashkin has shown. Uh, you know, he's really. I've seen whatever I've seen of Tashkin the last few years. I think he is one of the uh, good fast bowlers that you see worldwide. He's done. Uh, played well. He's performed in different venues, different surfaces. Maybe, maybe Bangladesh is never an easy, easy kind of a surface out there. Not too seamer friendly, but but whatever, whatever scene performance that he done, he's he's a really good bowler. 
uh, but yeah yeah others i think uh, when you're part of a part of an international squad you you have to be good to be represent your country so so in that sense others are have good enough and the spinners as well tash you have made the both the made these are done well you know it's good it's a good squad and it's a good bowling attack yeah. uh good afternoon coach uh, good afternoon uh, uh, after you know your match with the pakistan actually uh, pcb had made a complaint with the icc that uh, there was a misconduct uh, with the pakistani players how do you see these complaints are coming from the pcb they also raise the issue of visas for the journalists and the fans uh, do you think it's because of you know the losing I, I honestly you're the wrong I'm the wrong person to answer that question really I I don't I've not even heard what you're saying uh, you know that's not something uh, it's it's not my domain so really I can't answer that here yeah. uh, Kuldeep I mean yeah. what um, you spoke about that basically the technical aspect yeah. did you also work work with him on the uh, mental side because he was really down when you took over his performance was down then it really I mean gradually it, uh, so was there any mental aspect of you work on him? you need to right at this level there's so much pressure that you go through you need to understand uh i can't go too much in in depth of what we really spoke but i said uh, from from the mental perspective you need to work with the mental aspect as well uh, you you as a bowler at the international level go through a lot of swings it's a high pressure game that you are represent you when you play for your representing your country and 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 the pressure is going to be there i think it's important to how do you deal with the pressure there are different ways to deal with it but but that other than the technical aspect your your mental aspect is important it's important to be in the right frame of mind uh, in the right space uh, if uh, i feel uh, when you when you playing every game and i think that's something we worked on uh, it's 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 a combination he's understood where we come from what are the areas we need to improve and i think you need to give credit to him you know even after that he played so so much uh, long he played a fair bit of international cricket prior to that but to understand to why why we are saying certain things and work on it i think you compliment him that's important he's worked on it we are there to help him and uh, he's uh, taken a help paras is season ka pehla match hai ye ground pe to kya farak hota hai iska kyunki ye part mein barish bhi achhi hui hai to wicket ke hisab se kya farak hota hai i think uh, ek ek to hamare liye is a different challenge hi raha hai jaise maine bola ki hum not different when you pe khel rahe hain Uh, हमें मालूम है कि नौ नो डिफरेंट सर्फेसिस रहेंगे वेदरवाइज कंडीशंस अलग रहेंगे हम नागपुर में थे तो वो गर्भ था हम धर्मशाला खेलेंगे ठंडा होगा सो आई थिंक जो जो हमें मालूम है कि ये ये होगा आप सोच आपको सो, हम एज ए टीम सोचते हैं कि ये सर्फेस पे प्रायर टू इसके ये ये महीने में कभी मैचेस हुए कि नहीं जो पास डेटा इम्पॉर्टेंट होता है कि देखने के पास गेम्स में क्या हुआ है पर आप अगर ये सर्फेस को देखोगे तो काफ़ी अच्छा सर्फेस रहा है ओवरऑल कंसिस्टेंट आप कोई भी मैच देखो आप टी ट्वेंटी खेले हो वन डे खेले हो ये बहुत ही अच्छा सर्फेस रहा है एज अ बॉलिंग यूनिट मुझे लग रहा है चैलेंजिंग सर्फेस है बिकॉज uh, बहुत बहुत अच्छी तरह से बॉल बैट पे आता है छोटा ग्राउंड है कंपेरेटिवली आप बाकी के वेन्यूज पर देखोगे छोटा ग्राउंड है हाई ऑल्टीट्यूड है तो आई थिंक यहाँ पे बाउंड्री ज़्यादा स्कोर होते हैं सिक्सर ज़्यादा स्कोर होंगे सो so, एक चैलेंजिंग है एंड uh, हम वही बात करें कि ये चैलेंज कैसे हम एक्सेप्ट करेंगे हम किस किस चीज़ों पे फोकस कर सकते हैं हम वही कर रहे हैं कि हमें किस चीज़ों पे फोकस करना है सो आई थिंक सर्फेस हमें मालूम है कैसे रहने वाला है अब अब है कि हम किस चीज़ों वो वो चैलेंज कैसे एक्सेप्ट करते हैं और जो चीज़ हमारे हाथ में है हम उसी पर फोकस कर सकते हैं बाकी हम हमारे हाथ में नहीं कुछ कैच आई How hard is it to leave out a player of Ashwin's quality, and how is he reacting at the moment to not being in the team? Yeah, it's a it's a really tough one. I think when you have a world class bowler in amongst your 15, and and unable to, we don't get an opportunity to give him a great a game. Uh, you know, that's a tough call. You have to take that tough call. But I think uh, for us, the conversation has always been around the team centric and what's we all the decisions that we have taken, not only prior to this game. but but the last few years i think conversation have always be around we we go with the side what uh, is the best obviously the surface depend on what surface we are playing but the best combination that we feel uh, will be helpful on that surface and in that sense uh, you know he's been a he's been a great lad you know he's understands that he's been a he's a great team guy you know, i've never seen him grumpy have never seen him complaining any time for any of the uh, the last few time years that he's been with us so having someone like that a team guy in a team really helps and i think uh, you know credit goes to him even after so many years i think he is there he wants to do well for the team he turns up every practice session 
goes through the rigorous grinds and he keeps keeps bowling so i think he's a great team man and i must compliment that for us there is no guarantee whether shakib will play tomorrow or not so so no guarantee shakib shakib alasan will play okay, or not yeah. but uh, the stats wise indian batsmen have been most vulnerable to left arm spinners right as against uh, right uh, off spin or leg spin why is that so and is there any method as a strategy to counter it see you, uh, when you when you play as a batsman you you sometime or somewhere or the other you will ask against someone you know if you look at uh, matchups there'll be some matchup saying that he's weak against this is good against that player bowler especially but uh, honestly i don't think any conversation that we have out here we know he's a good player he's done well for bangladesh he's a champion player you know he's handy he bats for the team he bowls well bowls in the power plays he's a quality bowler and i think uh, you got to ex- give give that to him but for us really it doesn't really matter i think uh, for us is that day what we do in, in terms of our preparation our execution and we have a game plans so i honestly believe and and that's what when i voice the it's for the team from the team's point of view as well i think if you execute your plans uh, to the max you're going to do well and i think that's that's the, all that we're focusing about you know our execution of uh, execution of our plans and that's it, nothing else uh, coach this world cup the middle overs period has been kind of that swing period where teams have you know collapsed a couple of times at yeah. least so is that giving a cue to our batting unit to kind of go hard in the first few overs like rohit's template he's kind of going after the bowling right from the start in a couple of games you have seen hmm. so is that the method behind the approach in the first few overs that you know that's the best time to accumulate runs and set the tempo for the rest of the innings uh sometimes it happens sometimes it's good because especially on a surface when a new ball it comes on to the bat nicely and uh, it it's also the center oriented in terms of what surface you're playing i think that surface will behave differently in different phases and uh with the last few games uh it's got a little slower you know like whatever we played it got a little slower in the middle overs it wasn't coming on to the bat as as well as uh, the earlier bit but yeah sometimes uh, you'll have to take those opportunity of chances and i think the best phase is with the limited fielders outside the power, 30 yard circle new ball i think that's the best time sometimes it's not a strategy as well i think it's not that a special strategy that we're going with looking at what the what has happened in the early games that's something that's what we approach that's our approach has been throughout for the last few years so there's nothing different in terms of because the surface has behaved differently that we're going to approach this this tournament especially differently no i think that's been our plan earlier and uh, yeah that's that's we going to execute that i got right uh, your observations about surya the way he is batting in the nets and yeah. uh, countering bowlers uh, and do you think he is ready for his maiden world cup game to so surya is is a champion player is a match winner for you uh, he's shown you uh, the last last inning that he's played uh, you know the way he, he toils with, it's kind of 360 play, 360 player that we're talking about he's he's a difficult batsman to bowl especially uh, you know in all uh, anywhere i think it's look at the fine leg area you need to get it covered the third man area get covered you bring covers up you start playing out there so he's a 360 player a difficult batsman to bowl to and yes is he it's it's a difficult decision i said is it's like like ashwin or like shami surya is is a quality player it's difficult to miss someone like him in the team or get him but you need to create a, an opportunity a place for him to for him to place the question then ask is who do you replace him with you know so so that's uh, that's always the challenge people always say it's like you know is he should be playing i think he should be playing but the question sometimes in in whose place i think uh, that's a challenge so you don't have a slot for him right now but uh, we all know what he brings to the table he is a match winner for you and uh, i'm